Funded by the Comenius Regio Partnership Fund under the Lifelong Learning Programme through Lergus, the main objective of this project was to raise literacy achievement for our primary aged children using new innovative ways and through the joined up approach and cooperation between schools and community. Peterborough City Council, Neen Valley Primary School and Peterborough City Council Library Service were linked with the school completion programme through County Waterford VEC, St Mary's National School Dungarvan, Skull Garvan Dungarvan and the local library. There were regular visits to and from the UK to train our teachers and volunteers in projects that were already underway in Peterborough and to expand these through collaboration. Reading Buddies is an initiative based on volunteers going into the schools on a regular needs basis to read with children one to one. The aim is to encourage, assist and motivate reading confidence and enjoyment for the children in a relaxed environment. The benefits to the children are just fantastic and I think that comes from it being removed from the classroom and removed from home as well, you know, it's, it's a totally separate entity. So there's no judgement, the children are taken at whatever level they're at. Yarrick Shane Mion Agnes, the Olympic Moor, Hadina of Michigan Lowerland and Ave, Michigan Lowerland Tap and Chicago, so they're in Larshina Hall to Lowerland. So I shouldn't go home to Hush at the Kindle in the Hill, I was a mother to Lowerland initially in the Hill. One of the aims of the project was to involve the greater community, the library, and older people in the community. The bringing in of volunteers has been really, really beneficial. The older people look forward to the children going in, it, it lifts their day and the younger people are learning an awful lot from, from the older people. There are roughly 30% of the pupils currently taking part in the programme in St Mary's and Skullgaravon. Children are very excited about this project and it has had a hugely positive effect on their willingness to read. The percentage of children wanting to participate is constantly increasing. The children have benefited enormously. It's not just the reading has, has improved, naturally that has. But maybe more importantly, children have gained in confidence. Children who mightn't have been um, very willing participants in class. <laughs> process writing. So One way that I have found works quite effectively effectively good. So I'll say it again. Before going into schools, Reading Buddies attend a training workshop that walks them through expectations and the logistics of what it means to be a reading buddy and to discuss the best ways of supporting children in sharing or reading a book. But I found the workshop very useful because I was used to my own kids and used to the tips and tricks that would work with them, but I wasn't sure how I'd cope with, say, children of different abilities, children of different interests. So really the workshop was excellent. It gave us some great tips on, on how to tease out words and how to build a relationship with the kids. And yeah, it was excellent. Sometimes, you know, for example, if you had a sentence and it said um, her shirt wasn't purple, it was mauve, you know, so they, uh, a, a child might read that and say her shirt wasn't purple, it was mauve, mm -hmm. and then you're going, okay, does that sound right, does that make, you know, yeah. and it's like, gosh, it could be uh, purple, what's another word for purple, and yeah. you're just verbalising the thought process of how to help them, you know, but not labouring on it. Well, the card and find to mark on us. Leave the dinner, not with a hand of good auto. I got sort of been dinner raw, which will shake on a very jack or Neil Shay thought Neil to all knock, con cow rollish and dinner. I guess go horror away from the fucking knock digging sheet. Okay, remember how I thought of my life was over? I find it very helpful because um, when I go back to class, um, I'm more confident in my reading because I know, um, like sometimes I say, oh yeah, I went over that word in, in reading, buddy, so I know it. There's very little outlay 
to the schools because all schools have plenty of books and uh, all you need to do is provide a space but the space you provide is very important if you can make it as comfortable and as welcoming and as cosy as possible and um, a place where children want to go. The kids love to pick a book and they just love reading one-on-one -on -one to somebody. I love going to the library because you get to know books and you get to take out any type of book you like and it's very helpful because it'll help me with my reading. And when I grow up I want to be a chef and I'm able to read the um, ingredients in the book. We're very lucky as well to have Eason's, the local bookshop, come on board with us. So an occasional treat will be for a child to be brought down to Eason's and they're going to choose a book down there. They'll get a book for themselves and they'll get a book for the school as well. Eason will supply a reading body uh, for the school on a weekly basis over the forthcoming months and I think it's by getting their reading confidence up uh, it brings up the self-esteem and you know it motivates to read further and should make it more interesting and it's, it's, it's also should be very rewarding for the mentor as well. What I am thinking about, I usually am thinking I definitely recommend for anybody to get involved in reading buddies. Not only does it help the kids' confidence in class but it does boost their interest in reading and the more they read the more they learn about the world. Another initiative introduced was involving pupils in the Fiche Book Club, an online password protected website where children create and upload their own videoed book review based on their independent reading. Teachers and pupils within the participating schools can watch the videos of other children's book reviews and find books they too might like to read. The concept basically is very simple. A child wants to play a computer game. Are they going to listen to me or are they going to listen to their friend who tells them what computer game to buy? They're going to listen to their friend. So, if you can imagine a child logging into the Fish Book Club and searches for a book, Harry Potter, and as they search for Harry Potter, uploads a video of another child in a different school presenting Harry Potter to them, telling them all what it's about, and all of a sudden the child is having this peer-to-peer -peer impression going on. It's the first time in the Fish Book Club. It's the first time in the Fish Book Club. It's the first time in the Fish Book Club. It's the first time in the Fish Book Club. It's the first time in the Fish Book Club. It's the first time in the Fish Book Club. They now want to become famous. They want to be on the website. But for them to get on the website, they have to read the book, they have to write a book report, which is linked into the English curriculum. They have to then learn about speaking out loud, which is linked into drama and SPHG. They have to learn how to communicate, work in teams, they have to learn about technology. And when they get through all those phases, then they're allowed to present their book. The children were engaged because not only were they writing a book report, they could see the end goal. I'm going to get on the website and I'm going to show my video. That's cool, that's technology, that's fun. I think the reason why book reviews perhaps are traditionally not seen as fun is because they are uh, given to them as a lesson. Um, where does the book review go? It's read by the teacher, it might be read by the parent, but they might not even read back what they've written. Schools who join the Fish Book Club have a real audience and I think that is what makes the difference, that there's a purpose to it. And once you have a purpose and children appreciate the purpose, they become more motivated. The whole aspect of videoing brought a totally new dimension to book reviews. When the um, laptops were produced and the, they were actually videoing them, by golly did they smarten themselves up. And the children became much more aware of presentation and presentation skills and the audience to whom they were presenting. What is lovely about the website is that the Fish Book Club is based around five buttons, so it was designed for six year olds to use. It's the Poshti Vic Frog Fest with a slow sun and chance going to finish. We've got a lot of people who are going to finish. 
Aber sie hat so nicht so eine Wegfragung, dass sie lohnt sich fast jeden. It's a great example of also classroom management. From the teacher's perspective, they can still continue on with the lessons and allow some children to work in the corner. Because the book reviews go up online, they're also moderated by us before they go live, so the teacher can trust that what the children is doing is going to be safe and appropriate. Representatives from Peterborough City Council Library also carried out a Questers Activity Workshop in Dungarvan County Library with a group of students from both schools, inspiring reluctant readers with a fun approach to literacy. We are hoping to inspire um, a love of reading in children whose first love wouldn't necessarily be books. Um, so it's the whole storytelling process, the building story, and, and helping them to understand that merely playing ga by playing games, they are actually creating a story. And if we all huddle together, do you think we might be able to get through this wind? Yeah? Is it working? Yeah. It's working. We want children to see the library as their place to be. Um, the library can be fun. Um, it's not just about sitting quietly reading a book. There are lots of things that they can do. We did some art activities with them, so they then created a mask um, of a character. And we asked them to take on that character and play the drama game. Um, with the cards and the cards gave them the next move and led them on and then we let their imaginations take them on from there. A happy person. It's a happy person. Okay. What parents um, need to, to kind of remember is that children actually need to see you reading. So one of the things you can do is sit alongside your child while, while you are reading your book and let them read their own book. Um, every little thing, um, classes as reading, when your child's on the computer, they are actually reading. You know, when they pick up the cereal box in the morning um, to see what the special offer is, they're reading. Um, so there's lots of ways that, that we can encourage our children um, to read. Sophomore, no, the Hawkinson,